What you're looking at is the windows.xml file. I've got it all tinied up so you can actually see it on the screen. And uh, more or less, I'm going to make a couple of changes to it, but really not much. It has um, a bunch of different nodes and sections in it. Like it has the type and the name, like in this case, Google Talk. If you're going through the file looking at it, all these pounds, those are just visual separators. So when you're scrolling through it, you can see it. Uh, the important parts are going to be like parent hwin to watch for visibility and it'll have like a class name and so on and so forth. If you know anything about uh, using Microsoft Windows um, Spy, let me get that for you. Uh, it comes with Visual Studio 6.0. See? This thing right here? That thing right there. And then you can use that to drill down and find something. And from there you can uh, know the class name. In this case, the class is a static and so on and so forth. Uh, here, I'll show you an example real quick. Let me go to Yahoo Messenger. I'm going to pull this up, talk to somebody, and there's their window right there. And now I'm going to use Spy++. First, I have to I hit F5 on the keyboard. It'll refresh it. And I'll use this little thing and drag this, which brings this little thing right here. I'm going to drag this puppy up here. Up here and you kind of see those little things turning colors in the background what that is, it is highlighting that window and then I hit OK and I scroll down a little bit and you can see it found it, there it is right there I look up a little bit and you can see there's my, uh, my instant message class window above that is the Yahoo Messenger blah 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 class thing and all the windows are inside of there like for example, I've, uh, so I've got that thing and I'm going to say I want to highlight the IM class window. So I right click on it and choose highlight. And bam, you see the whole thing highlights. Here, I'll show you this. Okay, there it is right there. There's the top of it. And I'm going to highlight this. Highlight. Flashes. Cool. And inside there is all these little things such as um, the Yahoo HTML container, which has the Internet Explorer server window. And uh, the send button which of course the send button is get it so you can see it this little guy right there send and then there's a text area and so on and so forth matter of fact I'll smell that I've blown through there really fast I will find the one for Yahoo found it close this thing up and the one for Yahoo is here and you can see the class, that's the same class name that we saw in the other thing, and that's what it uses to watch for visibility. So if it sees that window on the top, then it knows I need to attach to it and make myself visible. It uses a different handle to watch for position, because some of the messengers, you had to do that. It's really, really quirky. And you can also tell it to point, see I'm saying point to the other one, and so on and so forth. And I had to make a couple of pointer classes just kind of holding places because Yahoo buried some of the controls and nested them deep a little bit. And this is actually really funny because I've been doing this for a while and so every single version of Yahoo I had to do something a little bit different because they named it differently every time. I don't know why, but they did. And uh, more XML mumbo jumbo stuff and a couple of things. If you actually go and look in the code in this you should be able to figure out what's, what it's doing. Um, the code is pretty simple, well, relatively simple. There's a simple, this thing right here, form main right there, that's the one that actually does all, I mean, it's a, it's a tiny, tiny little thing when you run it, and I'll show you what it looks like. When you run that one, it looks just like this now, because I changed it, it used to be all these little buttons would work and stuff, but, and I, I just left them there, I just grabbed a screenshot, went in Photoshop, put the text on top of it, and put a button right here, that's it. So all the buttons are still there in the background. If you go and actually pull the form out and start editing it and playing around with it, you'll, you'll see all that. There's a timer in there, and once you click on this, it starts the timer. This thing, this thing goes away and hides, and there's a little thing in, in the tray. Looks like, oh, that right there, see? A little clock thing, or not clock thing, lock thing. 